I'm not saying I'm a Sephora expert, but basically, I've been shopping the Sephora sale for years now. I'm not new to this, I am true to this, and so many of my skincare, makeup, and fragrance loves come from Sephora, but I'm not gonna pay full price. I wait for the sale because I need that 20% off. I'm overspending anyway, let's get a discount to just make it all a little bit better. Now this year, the sale went pretty well. It wasn't the shit show that last year was. It didn't have all of the technical issues, and, as you can see, the boxes already here also went into store, bought a bunch of fragrances and some foundation. So if you like an unboxing and you love a Sephora related video, stick around and let's get into it because I have some tea about what's good and what's not and what's worth testing out at Sephora because there is so much there. How do you even know? Well, I know and I'm going to share it with you. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Janine, and even though fragrances are my first love, and that's mostly what we do on this channel, so you know, if you love a fragrance related video and fragrance recommendations, please subscribe. I love all things beauty skincare, makeup, body care, hair care, all of it is an opportunity to pamper myself to feel like a princess, and I love all of it. I'll take all of it. There's going to be two versions of this video. We're going to do the unboxing and then I'm going to come to you with a dedicated fragrance review going through all of the fragrances that I picked up, which are definitely less than last time because last time I bought like 20 fragrances and this time is definitely less than 10. Growth. So we're going to get into it. Oh, by the way, I was looking for a foundation on Saturday. Check out my vlog. I talked about it and I picked up the Lancome, you know, foundation in I don't know what shade. Oh, in 440N. Mm. What do y'all think? Does it look good? I'm also wearing a new lipstick I picked up from MAC on the weekend called Vixen in this formula that I think is so fire. It goes on almost glossy and then dries down to matte and lip, lip liner plum. I'm just real happy with everything that I picked up on Saturday in that regard, but we're gonna go through everything. And if you stay till the end, I'll go through the things I picked up from MAC because that was also a successful trip. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Let's get into this unboxing because fun for both of us. I don't know about you, but I like to watch the box be actually, actually opened. So I'm actually opening it up with you. And then I'm going to organize it so we don't have just random things coming at you. I'm going to organize it into like categories and then we'll go through everything. But yes, the box is open. And this, boom, is what is giving. I'm so excited so excited not surprisingly the beauty category with the least number of stuff this time around is skincare last sephora sale i went ham on skincare it was the biggest category i bought all the things the serums the moisturizers as well as the cleansers it was great it was great but i had a lot of stuff left over i won't need anything until the next sephora sale so this time around i picked up this duo pack from topicals it's a hydrating mask and a brightening and clearing serum and it has niacinamide in it tranexamic acid which is really great for hyperpigmentation azelaic acid like there's so much happening in this brightening serum all the right things and the packaging is mad cute like look at these babies look how adorable they feel <laughs> very teenagery they're cute um, I'm into it. I also picked up some mandelic acid from The Ordinary. I usually use mandelic acid to clear up your skin, make it a little bit brighter, um, a little plumper. Now, I don't typically use mandelic acid because I tend to pick more aggressive acids like glycolic acid and lactic acid for my skincare needs. But every now and then, I'm having a little bit of, you know, sensitivity on my skin and I might be able to use something that's a little bit milder. Now we're getting into hair care, body care type stuff I'm gonna use in the shower. I picked up the Vega Moore scalp mas massager. Did I need this? Absolutely not. But I kept seeing it online and it looks so adorable. Just, you know, make the washing process even more exciting, fun, and, I don't know, interactive. I also got two products from Necessaire. So the first one is uh, this body bar exfoliant. I like a, a, a bar. I know people tend not to love bars, but I do. I really enjoy them. 
So this is supposed to have a bunch of AHAs in them so you can get some exfoliating done on the body as well. So I'm excited about that one. I'm going to start using that like tomorrow um and i also picked up their retinol lotion now do i need retinol on my body not always but i feel like once a week at night my skin could use just a little bit more of an extra boost and extra treatment so you know 0.1 percent retinol isn't a shit ton most face care stuff even over the counter is a lot more than that i also got this uh, body wash from salt and stone I just liked the vibe and the the um the packaging. I was I was pulled in. There is no like practical reason. I just was kind of excited about it and wanted to try it. So this is it. Salt and stone. This is the bergamot and hinoki uh hinoki body wash. Ooh, very citrusy and green smelling. I'm into it. I'm very into that. We aren't done with body washes yet, y'all. <laughs> I also got uh, Kosa's uh, um, Sport, which is their good body skin, juicy clean. It's an AHA enzyme and exfoliating wash. So more exfoliating washes. I want to incorporate more of this just to take care of my body the same way I take care of the skin on my face. I also sprung for the Sol de Janeiro skincare um, body wash. It's called Beja Flora Elasti and it's supposed to be a retinol mimicking, uh, have retinol mimicking ingredients. And I picked up the, the body cream as well as the body wash. Almost finally, I picked up both of these from the Sephora brand. Now these were mad cheap. They were about between four and six dollars each and so with a 30 percent off it was even less than that this is their body lotion and this was their shower oil here's the thing i had picked up the sephora body lotion the one in the tub the body bottle in the last sephora sale thinking that because it cost 13 dollars and it was so much product it wasn't gonna be fire it was fire y'all the reviews online were like it is too thick there is no such thing when it comes to lotions lotions can't be too thick the thicker the better they had a trio for fenty and it was also on sale y'all y'all it was on sale i'm so excited about this and it's three of the fenty body bottles we go smell these and i'm gonna tell you if they smell good i will not hold back and the last one is vanilla dream does it smell like vanilla let's see Ooh, it smells like vanilla candy almost like butterscotch so like this kind of um, familiar uh, vanilla smell but not like the real vanilla smell if you know what i mean this doesn't have a smell. I mean, I'm not mad at that. I will mix perfume oil into it. It's fine. It's fine. I'll do that work. I love a scented lotion. That is good. That warm cinnamon. That smells like cinnamon at the, the mall. It's glazed. It's sugary. And it's cinnamony. Do I need a big one of this? I can't wait, right? I can't wait till the next Sephora sale. That is nice. We're gonna leave fragrances to the last because it is the best category, obviously, even though there are more makeup items than fragrances. I wanna like test each other fragrances, just give you my quick impressions. That's gonna take a little bit more time. So I'm gonna start off with, you know, the face stuff. So um, I got two primers this time around. I got the, the Dior Backstage Face and Body Primer. Now this is the foundation I use for every day as well as the concealer, I'm wearing the concealer right now. I'm such a fan of the that line. And I had gotten a sample from Sephora of the primer for this. And I really, really liked it more than anything else I was trying. Um, and I also got Sephora Smooth and Blur. It was like four bucks, I think it was. Now, the last Sephora sale, I picked up this duo from Milk. Again, wearing it right now. And as you can see, this piece is almost done. I've been using it real hard. I really like the Hydro Grip Primer. You don't need a lot, so this is going to be with me i would say four years at this point like this is gonna be around for a lot also like for a dewy or finish this is merit beauty great skin it's very oily so you have to have very dry skin for this to like make any kind of sense here's a problem with me that you should know about i hate running out of shit and when i run out of something like foundation it scars me and instead of going to the store and buying one foundation now i need to buy all the foundations so this shit does not happen again i also picked up makeup forever hd skin now this was the 
the foundation that ran out on me their old uh, formulation the ultra hd that i loved they got rid of my shade which was i think y505 and i went and replaced it with this i'd heard it was good it is a lot tackier so a lot stickier on the skin but it doesn't read as matte as the other one as the lancome it's not quite natural finish but it feels very light on the skin i did two pumps i could have used three it is not as full coverage as the lancome either but it felt really nice on the skin I'm very very happy with this i ended up getting four and 62 i also got a replacement for the dior backstage my main foundation that i use most days when i'm going to work if i'm not wearing a skin tint and i love this foundation nice natural fit finish and a 6n love it i wear 5n um under my eyes because i have dark circles or like reddish dark circles it's a moment um finally yes i got four foundations finally i picked up house labs um in 400 medium deep i picked up the wrong thing fuck me this is medium deep warm or maybe this was the right thing i'm supposed to get i thought i was getting medium deep neutral anyway maybe this is what i needed medium deep warm because i remember testing it and it looked fire i don't imagine they have multiple 400s so i'm gonna look it up to see if i picked up the wrong shade because it wasn't on the it wasn't in the section for uh house labs i ha they had to go back in the back to look for it and somebody came out and handed this to me and i didn't actually like look that it was the right shade i haven't opened it i will double check to see if there is a 400 that is a medium deep, deep neutral because i remember that's what i tried i don't fucking know so i picked up two concealers uh this is my first concealer ever from fenty beauty um and it looked really nice it wasn't as brightening as i had wanted but i also was just really impressed by the finish and how hydrating it was and decided i didn't care if it didn't have the exact they didn't have the exact color that would give me the brightening effect but also not look ashy on me so i went with one that actually matched me matched me and this was 390c very excited it was very good and i also got a replacement for the dior one that i have as you can see it's struggling it's basically finished because i use it hard and i just got a replacement for that one in the exact same shade 5n got the morphe totally set with a pink powder and a translucent powder i decided to get this because i really wanted to try the pink powder i want to try their translucent powder i tried a translucent powder for, powder for the first time when i got this one um the one size and i've never tried a pink powder i didn't want to buy a really expensive one and then find out that it's too light on me it doesn't look right so i decided to get these really mini ones that were approximately 17 dollars canadian or 12 usd before discounts the one that i am excited about is a big one from one size so let me show you excited excited look how chunky that is i had a little mini one that i bought last time round it is finished i scraped what was left to use today um and decided to get a big one i was gonna get a little one too little as i know i know i like this i know it fits i know i'm into it this is the translucent powder and even though online it says for the fairer skinned folks it looks good on me too y'all it works <laughs> it just fucking works and it gives me the brightening effect that my concealers don't really give me as far as the finishing powder goes i did not buy a big version of my current finishing powder even though i'm very very happy with it it is from Givenchy, and it's uh the matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder i bought it and the one size you guys figure out which i prefer and i realized i like them for different things i like that for under eye i like this for all over the face to sort of mattify things if i'm a little bit sweaty um and this was in the shade papilline mimosa number no. five so i don't think it's necessarily the one they recommend for my complexion but over everything it looks real good so i'm very happy with this i'm still considering getting a bigger size of this because this will not last it's it's, it's more than halfway done this will not last till the next sephora sale so thoughts thoughts it and the milk i'm thinking about picking those up because 
I don't want to run out of either because I don't want to have to figure out a new finishing powder. I found one I like. I just want to stick to it. It's easier that way. Also, I got two blushes. The only thing that hasn't come yet is one of the blushes isn't uh, meant to arrive until Friday. Now, most of the stuff when I order them, they come from Calgary. So I'll get them quickly. It's for shipping quickly. But this blush happened to be, I think, in Toronto or Montreal. So it's coming by grown from a far ways away. So that one isn't here yet. But I did get Patrick Ta's orangey <laughs> i have an orange look in mind which is why i gotta go back to mac and get an orange adjacent lipstick we matching out here in this bitch um and it is in the shade she's the moment because i am y'all <laughs> the other one that's coming it's like a soft pink will it look good on me i don't know i don't it looks good on the black girl in the in the photos but they could be tricking us now i decided to buy this because my favorite filming blush is from patrick ta and it's called oh she is different and it's this uh really pretty um you can see it's gotten a lot of use Ooh, it's been through it y'all i'm not gonna show you it's been through it anyway it's great it is this you can see what it looks like it is like this rosy color gives me a glow now next up we have eyeshadow palettes i got two which feels excessive for me because i don't usually buy eyeshadow palettes like that i've been wearing the same set of eyeshadows from this nyx set for a couple years now <laughs> Are they expired? Probably. I'm going to keep using them till they finish. But I was like, you can branch out. You could have different tones to your eyeshadow. That is a thing. That could be cute. So I got the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, this is pretty on looks. Oh, I like this. Um, Here's the color story. So I think that would be great for like every day. And the next one I got was the Morphe Natural Flirt Palette. It was pretty affordable based on like how much you were getting. Um, and I was intrigued by that. I've never owned a Morphe palette. I've never owned anything from Morphe. That era of YouTube completely missed me. Um, but this is the color story for that one. Again, but it does lean on like the plums and rose and purples. And y'all may know this about me. I love a rosy tone. Finally, finally, my favorite category yet, the lip products. Why do I love lip products so much? It just feels like I can never have enough of all the lip shades. I'm down to try any color really. And unless it is like really unattractive on me, I'm willing to go out in it. The first one is the new glass bomb from Fenty Beauty. I feel like I've been looking for this specific shade without having to make it myself for a while now in the sparkliness that this is giving. And I'm hoping it looks in person like it looked like on TikTok and that wasn't just like a filter or something. So let's try it out. Oh yeah, that's the color, y'all. You see that? You see that? Yeah. Yeah. Also from Fenty is their hydrating lips stain in the shade Poot. Poutsicle? Poutsicle. Why am I saying Poot? Poutsicle. Um, another pinky color. Y'all, I love pinky colors and mauves and roses. Oh, hell yeah. It is so loud. I love it. Look at that color. Oh my God, I'm so excited about it. And this is the hybrid lip oil, PhD hybrid lip oil from House Labs. And this is in the shade tint. Very clear. Can you see it? Barely, right? Neutral shades and we have the shade nearly neutral and a lip pencil in the shade kind words now i really like some of my favorite lip liners are from rare beauty i think they're really really pretty well it's a pretty gloss hold on let me show y'all very brown girl friendly in my opinion look at that that's pretty right i got the lip i got a, a replacement um replacement yeah uh lip liner in strong which is my favorite brown lip liner my first lip oil from rare beauty um and i wanted to share this one as well oh i branched out it's orange it's not pink rose or mauve i'm proud of myself y'all oh that is pretty looks very peachy orange 
these are all the fragrances I picked up this time around. I did so much better this time around, y'all. I got seven fragrances. Most of these I have tried, tested, I know that I like. Starting off with Skylar's Boardwalk Delight. It's a vanilla cotton candy, cotton candy and coconut milk. Why am I in love? It is so pretty, yummy. Very lightly, like it's gourmand, but it's not thick and heavy. Like it's a summer gourmand. He said you should be on a boardwalk with a cotton candy in hand, just running around in a jeans jacket and a two short shorts. It's vibes. Where is your crepe? Put on this perfume, put on the crepe and go out and enjoy yourself. Now I also picked up um, a Valentino Stravaganza. It's so bright and citrusy and fun. I also did get Juliet from Juliet Has a Gun. Now this is... Um, this is Tonka. So Tonka fragrance recently released. I almost blind bought it, but because I've been played by Julia Has I Gone before, I wasn't sure it was gonna be good. And I was wrong. This was beautiful. Now I have not tried Lychee Rose from Nest because I blind bought it. Because, because their the tester in store was finished. People had been waiting. Very perfumey. Ooh. That lychee comes through heavy. It's yummy. It's thicker than I thought it would be. Mmm, the lychee smells like, not like lychee as it presents in most fragrances. It smells like lychee fruit itself. Um, or maybe the lychee jelly candy. It's very pretty. I'm very happy. Ooh, that, you know, the rose is a little bit powdery. It's a little bit musky. It's just a musky rose that just feels a little bit heavy. It feels grown, but also feels very fun. This... Just have a first sniffle bottle already. That feels premature to say, but yeah. Y'all, I tried this in store. Did not expect it to be so good. And it is Marc Jacobs Daisy Wild. It was so bright and sweet and fun, a little bit green. Smells like summer in a bottle. I'm excited to wear this down this summer. If it finishes, I'll get a full bottle of the next Sephora sale. If it's not finished, I'll wait till a year from now. But I got Good Girl Blush Elixir Travel Size. Finally got Commodity Mass Expressive. It's long overdue. I think I talked about this a year ago going into the Sephora sale, I think. It's been on my radar for a long time. I did a commodity specific video, dedicated video, and talked about how much I loved Moss. Ordered this last Sephora sale. They canceled the order, saying it was out of stock, only for it to come back into stock like two or three days later. It was a little bit of annoying. I didn't go back and order anything because I was done ordering. So I figured I would wait. And here we are. We finally have it. I'm a little worried that my feelings might have changed in the last year. So we shall see. I'm going to put it on skin. Um, not so far. It is so tea like green, very punchy. The oak moss comes through real heavy in this fragrance. So, here's the B plot. We're gonna go through some of the things I picked up from Max. If you're interested in seeing something like that, let's get into some of the shades that I grabbed. I don't think I went overboard, I think I went the right board, basically. So, as I mentioned earlier, I picked up the shade Plum, which is what I'm wearing today, but I also got three other shades. I got uh, Soar, which is gonna go well with a lot of my rosy lipsticks and things, and two other browns, a cool brown, which is. Uh, Soar and a even darker brown, which is chestnut. All really great shades. Um, I think I could also have picked up mahogany. I saw it's like a midway, it's like a reddish brown. It looks fantastic and I didn't get it, but I got one eye product um, and it was on their like sale at the time. I got it in this shade, Hot Sauce like hot sauce you know you get it you get it one is called fashion emergency no this is the shade i wear in most of my videos it is finished i used it all that's a good sign i've used it a lot i really like this shade a lot i find just a really flattering matte shade that's what it looks like pretty I also picked up in this new um, this new formula called Locked Kiss. That's the one I'm wearing right now. Um, and this is in the shade Koi. 
I bet she's gonna look a lot like fashion emergency. Um, I think I'm getting different things, but sometimes I'm really not. Um, so this is the um the lipstick version. I'm wearing the lip the one that goes on as a gloss, which I honestly prefer at this point you can see what koi looks like amplified cream lipstick these are one of the ones that are also on sale right now i don't think they like did as well and this is in the shade dallas no this is a little bit more outside of my comfort zone it's a very it's a much brighter pink shade but i love a bullet lipstick for every day um and another amplified cream like i said they're on sale uh i got it in dubonnet and this is a wine color and i remember that very distinctly because i was debating i was like you want to get a wine colored lipstick or no nah? it's not a shade that i wear a lot of when i see it on i'm into it this is dubonnet so that's everything for me all of the beauty products i picked up from mostly sephora a little bit mac very happy with all of these new items that i've added to my collection that i'm going to be able to enjoy play with wear it's so fun to be a grown-up when you can get your own shit isn't it now thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate it if you liked this video you liked me i hope you subscribe you keep coming back because i'm gonna keep giving i'm gonna keep putting stuff out i really do appreciate you being here though and staying this far into the video you are a real one again i am janique a connoisseur of all of the lovely beauty products out there showcasing sephora and mac today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned a few things and i hope to see you in the next one bye y'all